welcome to my channel this is sam i'm playing helbets and was sacrifice so i died so many times Why are you 
is already dead. Just look around here. What hope was there for a even if his soul could be rescued? Do you think that you could have begun to him, to his friends, to his father? <laughs> my father. I can't lose you. You said it. I have blood on my hands. I didn't say that. You've done nothing wrong. Zimbal was right. Everyone will suffer. Zimbal is a fake. He is a hateful, bitter liar. He's poisoned. His words still haunt you. Who do you trust? Him? Or me? I don't trust anyone here. Do you still believe in me, Senna? In us? Battles of 
fought for mine. You gave her the sword with which to fight in more ways than one. And she gave him her word, never to surrender. All she needed was a little help. A little hope. My hand. Come on. I need something for my hand. I died so many times before that guy who is like uh, who looks like a fire or something. And that guy is like so merciless. He, he, he kind of his sight is dangerous. He sees you. He sees you. Or you see him. Or dead yeah that's how i died so many times there and that's how that black thing got above my elbow to my shoulder Into the mountain. Can you see it? Shall we tell her where to go? I don't even remember the name. Go on, look. Just up there. Does she know which way to look? Does she know her way into the mountain? She's a pretty tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafnir, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature, a dragon. I hope this is the right way. The sound, man. Sound is not good. What is it? She can feel it. No. A great beast guards Helheim. Garm is its name, and it knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How would you say Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop you. Then do it. Have I done everything that is needed to be done? Brother, 
The beast is stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. He says I will die if I go with them. They say I'm already dead. No, I won't be with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't Do you see them? them? Do you see their faces? He's coming! Senor! Help me! Help! Get me out of here! Don't go! She shouldn't be here. She escaped the darkness. She took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father, except that. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now, does it? She hasn't got much time. Step and I would have died. The darkness will come again. Just hope I'm doing the right thing. So this sign is near the Okay, I found the room with a little bit 
tonight. Oh, this is the other room. So we go left now. The way where I died earlier because I had no light on me. Bitches, motherfucking bitches, learned to give balls. Okay, what signs do I have?
like been there done that thing but i'm still missing something
Brienne the Dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rain would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rain reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rain go in search of Fafnir. Oh, I bought it. Where is it? There it is. You have all the rooms. Do you feel it? The beast is crawling into your mind, searching for weakness. They found your mother. I used her to trap you in here. Did you see her die? I don't remember. I was only five. They told me she escaped the darkness. That she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here?
हिलाते हुए बीस्ट को और हिलाने के लिए अपन को फायर लेके जाना पड़ेगा छोटा जगह से बीस जन आ रहा है
see the art from outside. I got a second chance when I got like that. Slithers overhead. Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit, and Fafnir sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death, as it led to the death of all who owned it. Sigurd replies that death comes to all men, and every man will want to be wealthy until that day. But he takes the treasure. Less death. 
difficult to think of him. A tender guiding flame in a world so black. The longer it burned, the more she convinced herself that there was nothing beyond its reach. How little separates us from what we fear. Sigurd does so, but when he touches the roasted heart to see if it, although Sigurd kills the dragon, Rian wants to keep Fafner's gold all for himself. Rian also wants the strength and wisdom of the dragon, so he drinks its blood and asks Sigurd to roast Fafner's heart for him. Sigurd does so, but when he touches the roasted heart to see if it is done, he burns his finger. Without thinking, he licks his finger and tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby. Keep the torch up! Keep the torch up! Keep the light!
has no power. People think of evil to as an unnatural, face me invisible force in the light. And so it's like the gods for protection. But evil can come from the hand behind the gods. A familiar hand, cold and cruel. He tried to fix her with his rituals. Kept her trapped in that hole. She couldn't say which was worse. The darkness. Or the monster that her father had become. She couldn't find them both. And so she left. Headed for the one ray of light that shone down on her. If she had stayed, she wouldn't have survived. But maybe Delian would still be alive. save his soul, even if this time she can't save her own. Forgive me, Senua. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore. But believe this, it is my emotion to make me hate. Set boot the darkness with a passion so great if you focus your mind on this quest. Feel it out of it. Yes. I feel it in the left goes it's like. All this time I hardly wanted to protect you from the truth that would have destroyed you a long time ago. That you have conquered your darkness at every turn. You deserve to see behind the veil of darkness. Take me to the mountains, trust me. As far as we can go. I won't stand in your way. She has to trust him. You will not survive what is in there. I know. She's coming. She's knows everything, huh? She even knows what is in the mountains and she won't survive it, but still. He's willing to go. Searching for secrets inside of me. Secrets that even I can't see. I'm not here to fight my past. I'm here for Dillian. I will fulfill my vow, whatever the cost. No one defeats Hela. 
This isn't just a broken bridge, is it? Mother, you showed me how to see further. To see the hidden wonders in our world and explore new paths into the unknown. To lead so that others may follow or to warn so that they may avoid. That is our gift and our duty. I'm not going to look away in fear anymore. She can do it. She can do it. She can still see the secrets of the gods. She makes me so special. She must see. She has the sight.